One Man Family, now brought to you transcribed every weekday night at this time by Tabson, the new improved antihistaminic tablet for the symptoms of colds and hay fever, another fine, dependable product of Miles Laboratories, makers of Alka-Seltzer. <laughs> Overheard between Father Barber and Hazel on the terrace. Hazel, uh, what are you and Daniel going to be doing this evening? Why, Father? I'm going to run the motion picture of my operation right after dinner. But we've already seen it. Oh, not since I've worked out this commentary I give along with the picture. Mm-hmm. So that's how it is with the Barbers today. How are your plans for the weekend just ahead? Whatever they may be, I'm sure you don't want them ruined by the misery of hay fever or a summer cold. So for relief from your misery, take Tabson quick. Feel better quick. Tabsin, spelled T-A-B-C-I-N, is the new improved antihistaminic tablet made by the makers of Alka-Seltzer. Tabsin is different. Tabsin can do more for you. Tabsin contains a dependable antihistamine for the sniffles, the sneezes, the watering and itching of the eyes and nose, but it does more. Tabsin gives you the benefits of an effective pain reliever for the headache that so often accompanies summer colds and hay fever. All this is yours in Tabsin, a smooth-coated tablet that's easy to swallow, leaves no unpleasant aftertaste. Yes, for the misery of hay fever or a summer cold, take Tabson quick. Feel better quick. T-A-B-C-I-N. Tabson. The bright red tablet in the bright red package at all drugstores. <laughs> Chapter 15, Book 77. The Book of Henry. Henry Barber is well. His knee has healed, and he walks without a limb. He now pronounces his operation a success. In fact, the surgery performed on him, Henry will tell at length to anybody who will still listen, was perhaps the greatest in the annals of medicine, and he has motion pictures they took of the operation to prove it. His wife, Fanny, has heard every minute detail of Henry's ordeal by night approximately 75 times. Right now, she's on the terrace of the family home with her daughter, Hazel. <laughs> well, I sympathize with you, Mother, because I've heard the story of Father's operation about 15 times myself. Yes, but you've only had to sit through the picture once. Yes, thank goodness. Clifford and I have seen it three times. Oh, not really. It's the truth. And do you know what your father's planning to do this evening? Oh, no, don't tell me. Not again. <laughs> yes. He sent Clifford downtown to rent a projector again. Right after dinner, he's determined to run the thing. What do you find so fascinating about it, do you suppose? When I saw it, it made me a little sick. Well, it's perfectly awful. I could shake Dr. Thompson for ever getting a copy of the film for Henry. Or for taking pictures of the operation in the first place. Well, I should think so. Of course, Dr. Hagerbaum did do a remarkable job, but I must confess the picture doesn't mean much to me. All you can see is part of Father's leg and the doctor's hands moving in and out. Very educational and helpful for surgeons and students, no doubt. <laughs> Hardly what I'd call entertainment. The father has worked out a running commentary on it, and he keeps jumping up and down, stopping the picture to run parts of it over. Oh, dear. <laughs> And you're going to have to sit through it again tonight. Oh, no. I've got my strategy all worked out. What? I'm going to develop a headache just before dinner. Why, Mother, that's downright deception. Well, you'd be deceptive, too. I certainly would. By the way, where is he? In the house, patching the film. He's right so much. He's torn in a couple of places. Nice time kind of day like this, you'd think he'd be out in the garden. He certainly trusts Arnie Gans with his precious flowers now, doesn't he? I'm glad, too. And Arnie is keeping the place looking every bit as good as Father ever did. I... Well, I guess the film packing is completed. What? Hello, Father. Yes. How are you, Hazel? You going to join us? Very pleasant here. <laughs> I didn't know you were here. How are you, my dear? Just fine, Father. My, you're looking better every day I see you. Very splendid. Look at this leg. He works just like a young cook. <laughs> Look at this, Hazel. Huh? <laughs> see? I it better than I ever did. Hmm. Why, I could kick a football. Now, don't get too lively, Henry. Aren't you going to sit down and talk with us? Uh, 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 oh, uh, oh, Hazel. Hmm? Uh, what are you and Daniel doing this evening? Why, nothing that I know. Uh, hmm? Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Didn't you tell me that Daniel had planned something? I'd forgotten what it was, but I thought you said it just tonight. Wasn't that strange? I... Oh! Oh, oh yes. I I'm glad you reminded me, Mother. Oh, you're going to be busy with uh, I'm afraid we'll be tied up, Father. Oh, yes, yes. oh, too bad. You'll miss a treat. Oh? Yes, I'm going to run the picture of my operation right after dinner. I just finished packing up the film. It'll work much better than the last time. Yes, nice. Are you sure you won't be able to make it, Hazel? I'm afraid you'll have to excuse us, Father. Of course, I've seen it already. Uh, so is Dan. Oh, but that was some time ago. 
Since then, I've had several talks with Dr. Hagerboom, and I've learned a great deal of the technical side of just what he did in the operation. This is most interesting, my friend. Hmm? I say this, uh, this lecture I've worked out to implement the picture makes it far more interesting. I called Dr. Hagerboom's office a while ago to tell him that I was running the picture again tonight and asked him to come over. That young man is one of the great surgeons of the world. Do you realize that? Hey, did you say the doctor was coming over here tonight? No, no, his nurse or secretary or some snip anyway said he'd be busy. I think if I could have talked to him personally, he would have been glad to come. Well, Henry, I wouldn't bother Dr. Hagerboom anymore. My dear, he's interested. Why, this particular bit of articular surgery that he performed on me will make medical history. Well, that's why they took pictures of it in the first place. Yes, Henry. <clears throat> well, as time Clifford was getting back with that projector and screen, I've got a good notion to buy that equipment. You've paid enough rent on it to pay for it twice. Yes, I didn't realize I'd be using it so much. I'll have a talk with the doctor, I mean the man, tomorrow. I uh, want to see them about getting a couple more prints of the film anyway. The pictures are getting, getting a little grainy on my copy. Oh, well... Now I've got to be running along home. All right, Hazel. Give our love to Dan and the children. Yes, yes. Sorry about tonight, Father. Well, there will be another time. Oh, yes. I'll drop by tomorrow. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, dear. Huh? Something wrong, Henry? Oh, it's nothing, Henry. My head's aching a little, that's all. Oh, stayed out in the bright sun too long. Maybe. Might be a good idea if I went to bed right after dinner. Huh? Well, you'll miss the picture. Well... Let's see how my head is, Henry. But if you don't stay up to watch it, there'll be nobody there but me. Isn't Clifford going to be home? He said he was when I asked him this morning. Then when I sent him for the projector, he told me that he was going out. He can't make up his mind about anything. Chance to learn something about medicine. Prefers to be off somewhere instead. <laughs> no interest in science. Nothing. Oh, there's Jack. Just driving in next door. <laughs> oh, oh, Jack. Hi. Hello. Hey, come here a minute, my boy. Huh? Henry, give him a chance to get in the house and say hello to Betty and his children. Did you want me? Just for a minute, Jack. Okay. Probably tired after being at the office all day. Well, it seems natural to see you and Mom out on the terrace again, Dan. Hi, Mom. Jack, dear. Oh, yes. Uh, Jack, I'd like you and Betty to drop in this evening after dinner. Maybe Jack would rather stay at home. Why? What's up? Your father's going to run the operation picture again. Oh. oh well, we've seen it, Dan. Yes, but now I'm able to explain it. I've worked out with the doctor all the technical facts to... Well, inter- gee, Dad, it sure would be swell, but I, I think Betty's counting on me to take her to the movies. Well, these are movies I'm asking you to come and see. Huh? Oh, yeah, well, uh... They want to see a picture with entertainment in it. My dear, Jack is an adult with six children. I think he's perfectly capable of making up his own mind. Well, you high-pressure people, so... Well, nothing of the sort, but Jack's not like Clifford. Jack's got a scientific turn of mind. He's interested in things like medicine and surgery and things like that, eh, Jack? Oh, Sure. But I'll have to talk to Betty about it first before I can promise that we'll be able to come. Oh, I'll come over and talk to her. Well, uh... Well, I haven't seen my little granddaughters all day. Oh, now I remember. I knew Betty told me this morning we had something on tonight, and I thought it was the movies, but come to think of it, it was a bridge day. (laughs) Yeah, I I think she's going to phone a couple we know to come over and play bridge. Gosh, I better get home and take care of that. Betty be wondering what happened to me. I'll see you later. (laughs) All right, (laughs) Jack. Yes, it's bridge chance to improve his mind, he wastes his time for it. Sonny, I didn't think Jack ever had the slightest interest in playing bridge. Maybe something was just developed in it. Hope it doesn't get to be a habit. Your erotic pastime. Well, I think I'll go and see how Mrs. Kellerman is making out. I think we should have an early dinner. Oh, uh, just a minute, Sonny. Who's that coming down here? Why, I don't know. It's a total stranger to me. See, people seem to get more brazen every day walking to a man's garden and did you wish to see somebody, sir? Mr. Barber? That's correct. What can I do for you? Well, how do you do, Mr. Barber? My name is Giddings. Sure, yes. And I'm sure this is Mrs. Barber. Yes. From the descriptions I've had, I think I'd know both of you no matter where I saw you. Hmm? I saw your gardener out front. He told me I'd find some member of the family on the terrace back here. I, I don't think he views me with suspicion any longer. When I called the other day, he wasn't too happy about it. Oh, yes, yes, sir. He did mention something about a stranger calling. <laughs> That's right. I, uh, I believe you were taking a nap or something, so I didn't stay. Well, I, I know you're wondering who I am, what I'm doing here. Your assumption is quite correct. Henry. <laughs> exactly the way I pictured you both. Exactly. Oh, this is really wonderful. The way I write Teddy. Teddy? Huh? You know Paul's daughter, Teddy? Well, I certainly do. I saw her in London not so very many days ago. She doesn't know I'm in Frisco. I'm going to surprise her. Yes, yes, sir. Sit down, Mr. Uh, Giddings. Elwood Giddings. It was Captain Giddings up till a short while ago. Oh, then you were in the army. Well, 
Yes, in a way. Uh, I'm a dentist. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Dr. Giddy. Well, uh, a DDS. Incidentally, you've got about as fine a set of teeth as I've ever seen for a man your age. <laughs> it's not artificial, is it? I know. You couldn't fool a dentist on a thing like that. <laughs> Delighted to see you. We're so anxious to hear about Teddy. What a shame Paul isn't here. You have dinner with us? Hey, Fanny? Why, of course. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I'm not intruding? No, I think it was soft. <laughs> and I've got a great treat in store for you, Doctor. Right after dinner, you're going to see a film of one of the greatest operations ever performed. Paul will be here in just a moment with further developments. If you have hay fever, if you feel miserable with a summer cold, remember, take Tabson quick. Feel better quick. T-A-B-C-I-N. Tabson. The bright red tablets in the bright red package at all drugstores. Tabson's improved antihistaminic formula means more complete relief from the misery of summer colds and hay fever. Tabson provides a dependable antihistamine for the sniffles, the sneezes, the discomfort of the eyes and nose, but it does even more than this. Tabson also contains an effective pain reliever for the headache that so often accompanies summer colds and hay fever. And Tabson is smooth-coated, easy to swallow with no unpleasant aftertaste. Yes, for more complete relief from the misery of hay fever or a summer cold, take Tabson quick. Feel better quick. T-A-B-C-I-N. Tabson. The bright red tablets in the bright red package at all drugstores. All right, Paul. Mom has just called me here at the Sky Ranch and told me about the unexpected arrival of Elwood Giddy. I'm most curious to meet the man Teddy has become so interested in. And because he is so interested, I want to like him. As I understand it, Teddy has no idea he's in San Francisco. Strange. I'm sure she would have written it if she knew he was coming. Well, that's how it is with the Barbers today. Good night. Does the hot weather make your feet itch and burn? Do you feel miserable with athlete's foot? Here's a remarkable new germicide and fungicide for you. It's Bactine, spelled B-A-C-T-I-N-E. Bactine is amazingly effective, yet it does not sting nor burn like harsher antiseptics. Use it to relieve the itching and combat the infection of athlete's foot. See how truly effective Bactine can be in relieving this common ailment. Bactine is a clear, colorless liquid, will not stain, has a fresh, clean odor. Ask your druggist for Bactine. B-A-C-T-I-N-E. 30 and 70 cents a bottle. One Man's Family is brought to you transcribed every weekday night at this time by Miles Laboratories, makers of Tapson. Monday, the opening chapter of Book 78, The Book of Teddy. This is a Carlton E. Morse production, directed by Michael Raffetto. One Man Family comes to you from California. Stay tuned for Leon Pearson and news reports from the war and home front. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company. <laughs>